Today, we will be discussing harnessing the Venturi effect to create our own industrial vacuum generator. In recent years, companies have started using these vacuum generators instead of traditional vacuum pumps because it is more convenient to route compressed air to the end effector, and generating the vacuum closer to the workpiece minimizes losses, allowing heavier objects to be lifted. Hi right, guys. What are, what, are we, uh, what are we doing today? A little bit of fluids? Just a little bit? Cause you had a bad day! So, this is our project. It goes off of a little thing called the Bernoulli's equation. And we get it. Uh, Q1 was... Can you move out of the way? Can you lower the monitors? Uh, <laughs> See these turn right here? Trash. Don't need them. But don't matter at all. Um, and take a little uh, tangent. Talk about the conservation of mass. Uh, not really talk about it, but just write down an equation. There you go. U2 is equal to D1 squared over D2 squared. U1. That's 2. Alright, so we can write that. D1 plus 1 half. And. If uh, E1 is significantly bigger than B2, we create flow from 3, creating a vacuum. Yeah. Based on Bernoulli's principle, a very simple prototype was modeled. But, as you can see from the flow simulation, we would have gotten a lot of backflow. So, we switched to this new design where the air supply is less likely to flow to the opening where we want to generate a vacuum. This flow model also demonstrates that in the middle of the vacuum generator, the velocity is increased leading to that pressure drop we discussed. Next, we will be testing the effects of varying the sizes of the inlet and the tiny hole the air is forced through, which we will be referring to as the outlet, even though it's in the middle there. Ooh. But I think we should show different weights. Or we could just be like, look how happy you have objects we can lift. You know what we should do? Just Our data shows that the biggest difference between the inlet and outlet diameter led to the heaviest weight being lifted, which makes sense because the pressure drop will be the greatest. The Venturi, with a similarly sized inlet and outlet, could barely lift any weight at all. During our testing, we found that the strongest Venturi could lift approximately 15 pounds. Very impressive for a simple 3D printing prototype. And that's it. Thanks for listening. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody